Hi, this is Martin, the creator of Cosplay Size Calculator. This is a little tutorial on how to use the program. Here we have two files, the picture we're going to use and the program. We start by opening the program. Here it is. And we then we will start uh, by choosing our default height up under settings. And I'm going to set mine to centimeters. And here we go. And save settings. Now you can see your, your height will stand down here, so you can always see it and change it if you want to. And then we're going to load the picture and file import new and find the picture and open. Here it is. Now we're going to set the height of our character. There is a way to uh, only measure by the y axis are measured by both the y and x axis. We're going to choose this because he's standing right up and it's more precise in such picture. We start by uh, clicking on the highest point of our character. Here it is a little below the helmet I think because his head, his head is around here. And then we're going to choose the lower lowest point it's around here and click. Now you can see it has written uh, how many pixels there is between these two in, in the y axis and down here you can see it have calculated how many pixels um, how many centimeters there is on one pixel and reverse here. And now we're going to measure the sort and we click here and then we start by choosing the highest point of the sort here and the lowest point around here. Now you can see it have uh, written the length of, uh, of the sort in centimeters and it has calculated how, uh, lo how long it is so uh, you don't need to calculate it yourself or just try to trying to make it look like it. So here you have it precise and we can save it into this grid here by clicking on this plus and write a name for it. Sort length and press OK. Here it is and now you have all the data you need for the length of the sort. And we can measure the length of the blade when we click here and down here. This is the length of the blade and we're going to save that too. Blade length and press OK. And we can also take one more. The width of the sword. And we click here and here and save that also. Blade and press OK. Now we have three entities here. And you can add as many as you want because you probably need a lot more to make it. But when you click through him here, through him, you can um, see the points where you have measured so you can always check what part of it part it is if you made a name that doesn't fit or anything and if you made a name that's wrong or something you can change it by right clicking on it and press edit name these two doesn't work yet but they will soon but edit name and then you can write a new name Yes, okay. Now it has changed it. And down here, you can just write anything you want. If you need anything, need to remember anything, the materials you're going to use, uh, anything you want. You can write it here and it will be saved together with all the other stuff. And now we can try to save it. Just open File and Save. 
and then we write write a name for it. The black knight and press save project. Now it is saved. And I can tell you a little about um, how the files are here. You can see when you open the program, it creates two folders with the settings and the save data. So it's a good idea when you open the program the first time to uh, make a folder for it so you can move it all together. The settings is just something the default height and such thing. And the save settings, you see it makes uh, a cost file for every saved game or saved project you are you have and uh, it copies the image file so you don't have to wor worry about where you put the images or anything. It is right here all the data you need. And back to program and you can also load. It is the same as save, just loading the project and you can see a little thumbnail here about of it. So you can easily find what you need. And now of course nothing happens because I already has it opened. And you can also manage projects. Actually it's just deleting the project. So you can do that if you want to or delete everything if you just need to clean it all up. And we don't want to do that. And then we have the help and the about box. Nothing really special here, just a little info. And uh, if you have any ideas or comments, you can just uh, write to write to me here. And the uh, ver version history, just uh, yeah, what is a version history? <laughs> Guess yourself. And I think that was about it. And good luck. And I hope to see and hear something from you. Bye-bye.